Okay, let's start that again. Hey, thanks, Carol. Hi, Susan. This is Tara with Tara Beth Stamps. I'm an independent stamp up demonstrator here in Mid Missouri. And today we're gonna do a card using the beautiful balloon set. Today we had a team uh, meeting um, and my upline asked me to do a card using the little um, dreamer set. So I had made this one using in pink. And then I made this one during the meeting in blue. And hey, Jamie Sue. Hey, Karen. Thanks for joining. And so once I got these started, I was like, let's see what I could do with the balloon set. And we'll do that for tonight's card. So this is today's card using the bright or beautiful balloon set. It's a faux, faux sidestep. So super fun, super easy. Um, you can do those sidestep cards where you cut and you cut and you fold and I can't ever hardly get it right. So this one's so much easier. And so that's what I'm going to do for you tonight. So I'm going to set that out of the way. I do want to remind you guys that um, DSP is on sale. So you're going to see a lot of cards this week using a lot of DSP because the sale is awesome. I just got some in the mail. I think I got one to three packages of everything. Um, so I'm, I've got myself set up for the next year with DSP. All right, let's get started. Let's start out with a little stamping first. We'll get that out of the way. And then we'll do a little die cutting. Hey, Angie, thanks for joining. All right, so the first thing I have is a three by four piece of basic white. Pretty sure that's what this is. There's four, there's three. Yeah, there's a piece of three by four basic white. And we're gonna use this for the inside of the card. And we're going to stamp it. Hey, Mary, thanks for joining. I know, it's a great fold. It's fun. All right. That's not stuck on very good, so we're going to be careful with that. Okay, so I, this is the sentiment stamp from the beautiful balloon set. And I am stamping that today with Azra Afternoon. This is one of the new color refreshes. So I'm sure you've seen all of those new fantastic colors by now. Three of each? What do you mean, Karen, three of each? Um, so we're going to do that, and then we're going to do some balloons here. So I'm going to take out, and I better shut these inks as I go here. So here is some bubble bath. This is another one of the Color Refresh, and it is gorgeous. I think there was a ton of people that were wanting a beautiful pink. And I think, Stan oh, yep, I did order three DSPs on some of them. Inked Britannical and uh, what was the other one I got three of? I don't know. Oh, Fresh as a Daisy. Yeah, that one's, that one's one of my faves. But as I was saying, this pink... They, they knocked it out of the park, in my opinion. Oh, crumb. That's not what I wanted to do. Crumb, crumb, crumb. Well, we're going to try it. Let's see. Let's just see if we can put that sentiment on top and it'll be... You know what? I like it. We're going to go with that. All right. We're going to get that out of the way. Let's do a little balloon with this berry burst. One of the color refresh and I think that's why I love this DSP pack so much is it uses so many of the color refreshes and I love all of them. I love the lemon lolly which is what we're going to do next. So we're going to stamp this up with lemon lolly and you may see on the camera where my ink has been pushed back. So these stamp sets that you're getting new are super, super, super juicy, which is fantastic, except it's not always fantastic. Because sometimes when they're super juicy like that, you don't get the color that you want. So what I do is I take a bone folder and I just push it back to the edge, push it to one edge. That will loosen up part of that and allow you to get the color that you want. And then just push it to the edge and then it pools at the end. And then 
you don't lose anything either. Alright. So I got that one, that one. Okay, let's do the blue. That's what I missed. Alright. So just a mixture of these balloons. And I guess I didn't have to do them exactly the same. Alright. And I'm going to go ahead and clean up the stamp here because I didn't have enough blocks. Uh-oh, one of the dogs is in trouble. Our son is currently in the Dominican Republic with a friend. They are golfing and having the time of their life. But her puppy <laughs> is not a happy camper. All right, so we're just going to add some extra little stars with that. You know what? Let's do some more decorating on this one. Let's see if we can't make some tone on tone. It may not work. We'll see. Oh yeah, it'll work. Just given that little bit of color dimension with that. I'll set these back to the side and we'll do a little bit of die cutting. Okay, I'm gonna pull out my mini boho blue machine. This is my favorite tool to have right on my table at all times. It's fantastic because I have a big machine and I use it, but this one I don't have to get off my derriere. I can just cut right away and I don't have to move. Now, unfortunately, it is going to shake the table a little bit, but not terrible. I'll try to make it so that nobody gets seasick. Speaking of which, I will not be here next Sunday. I will be in Galveston, ready to load the boat. Tim and I are taking the kids to Mexico. Oh no, thanks Mary, I'm I'm sorry to hear you're losing me. I was kind of worried myself earlier because we were getting some storms. Um, but I will, as I said, I'll be gone. I'll be in Galveston a week from today, ready to board the ship on Monday morning. And if all works out right, I will be here the following Sunday. Oops, I don't want to die cut that. Um. We will, I should be back in time to do my live. I've already got a card made, so I'll be all set up. So even if we're running late, I can just run right in. All right, so I'm giving this a crank and you can see I can cut two or three at a time. And that's what I love about this little guy. Right here, didn't have to move a muscle. And I was able to get that cut. All right, so here's our balloons. I'm gonna throw that trash out of the way and get these plates here. Thank you, Mary, I, I plan to. It's gonna be fantastic. We're taking the kids and their significant others. Should be fun. All right, so let's bring out my mats here and I will get it get to putting this card together. So we're gonna do the mats first. If I can find, I've covered up my seal here. So this is a piece of one by four cardstock, and I'm adhering it to a lemon lolly mat. So this is from the Bright and Beautiful, I think is what it's called, DSP. This is, is the coordinating part of the, um, bright and beautiful suite that you can get with these balloon sets. Okay, we're gonna adhere a three by four piece of DSP. And then we're gonna adhere the sentiment as well. Now I hear Tim on the phone with my dad. Today is his, I think, 76th birthday. 
but his wife is sick, so we didn't do anything today with them. All right, this is a piece of two and a quarter by five and a quarter piece of DSP that I'm adhering to a lemon lolly mat. So all these measurements will be on my blog tomorrow. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out my Simply Score tool. And we're gonna do a little scoring. If I can find, there it is. Okay, so this is a piece of four and a quarter by nine. And we are going to score at one and a quarter. We're going to do a nice little crease there. We're going to do two and a half. Oops. And then we're going to do five and three quarters. Now, I also have a piece of two and a half by nine, uh, eight and a half. And we're going to score that at five and a half. So this is gonna be that step that you're putting in. Okay, sit this out of the way. We're gonna fold this and burnish it really well. And then we're gonna fold this other one. And so I normally do the larger side. And now I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna do an accordion fold. So I'm gonna fold that back and this up, creating that mountain and valley. So here's your mountain, valley, mountain. So this is your card base. So we'll put the inside in there first. Okay. We're, I'm making sure that I've got that nice little edge everywhere. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open this just because I feel like I do a little better job lining things up if I have it open. But as I said, all these dimensions will be available on my blog tomorrow and I'll have pictures of the other two cards that we did as well. And there we go. Now this one is blank because it's the back and then we'll have this one for your card front. And this card is going together pretty quick today. Yes, Karen, I, I'd love to see you case it. Case it and tag me in it. I'd love to see it. There's so, like I said, it was so easy to make this, and I made three of them today, just lickety split, and decided, well, I could go ahead and do this tonight. And once you get the fold down, it, it comes out really quick. And I loved this piece of DSP right here because it truly looks like a sky to me. Pull that over just a little bit. All right, so this is where the tricky part may come here. So I'm gonna put a little bit of seal right here and I'm gonna open this card up and I'm going to line this up on the bottom, but I wanna make sure I try to have about an even amount on each side. There we go. Now you can see where it folds up in the back. And now we'll just do one little strip of seal, fold that down and then seal that up. And there's your mechanism. So that's what you look like. All right, now for the fun stuff. All right, I've got a piece of basic white um, twine. I like the lemon lolly with the, the basic or the uh, blue as well. Thank you. Okay, so this is from the basic twine pack. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my snips and I'm just gonna cut five little random pieces of twine because no balloon is safe without a long string. I think I've got cheese under my nail from dinner. Timmy made brats and they were cheesy. That's kind of gross. All right, so here's five pieces of twine of this basic white. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, is I'm just gonna create a knot 
with all of them. And you know me on camera and bows, and this is just a knot. Let's see here. Here we go. So there's my knot. So here's our strings from our balloons. And you don't want them perfect. You want them kind of all different lengths. So if they're too close, I may do a little trimming here. Here we go. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to kind of place it where I want it. And actually, we're gonna trim these off a little more. There we go, because I need that knot to be a little further down. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to take a piece of just plain old scotch tape. Everyday cheap Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree scotch tape. And I'm gonna kinda tape down my, okay. And now we're gonna trim this top because we don't need all of this. Okay. So this is gonna be kinda just floating in the wind. And then we're gonna start putting our car, our balloons wherever we want them with Stampin' Dimensionals on them. Here's that. So I always start with the biggest item first when I'm doing die cuts like this because what can happen is you get your big one done and then bam, your small ones don't fit in there. So I'm gonna put a little bit of a dimensional on there and I'm gonna drag this down a little bit cause I don't want it to cover up my sentiment. We're gonna do the same with this one. Uh oh, somebody's here. Luna's going crazy. We're gonna do that one there. And then we're going to do smaller dimensionals on this one. I'm just gonna put it down here on the side. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of liquid adhesive just because I think it'll come up if I don't. So I'm gonna do just a little bit of liquid adhesive right here. I'm gonna make sure my strings are still working for me, and they are. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. And actually, we're gonna just use liquid adhesive on this guy. I should have put that glue on the other side. There we go. making our balloons and the strings work for each other. So now that's going to hang down there and there is your card front. So let's see here. So there's our card. Super cute, super fun. Something different than what we did this afternoon in our, our meeting, which is always fun. And I have an envelope here somewhere with DSP already in it. And it's disappeared. So we're just not gonna do an envelope tonight. All right, we'll just show that there. Um, thanks so much for joining me. As I said, I won't be here next week. So I appreciate, oh, here it is, yes. Let's just go ahead and do that. That'll drive me crazy if I don't get it done. I'll have one envelope, one card with no envelope. And I try to keep them together at all t times. So we're just gonna throw on that DSP and give it a quick trim and then we'll be done. So I won't be here next week. I'll be vacationing in Mexico. 
I'll be here the following week. You need to check out the join special. I'm going to put something out on my um, blog tomorrow about that because I just was doing some research and like how much money do you really save by joining? So it's the perfect time to do it because you got extra stuff. You got extra shipping. You can stack it like Kohl's coupons with the DSP. All right, there you go. Thanks so much for joining me tonight. I will see you back here in two weeks. Um, have a great week.